So Richard always wanted to take Calypso music to another level. You know, he always thought that the music could be become more pop and sound more funky and everything. I would consider him to be one of the most prolific writers and definitely he was born before his time. Of course, Nappy was the most pop of them all. It wasn't, but in terms of a Trinidad music, it was different. A very futuristic individual. He was he was ahead of things. His music was not just one genre, uh, as we know. It, he, he explored different genres and he blended different genres and he also represents the Trinidadian flavor of Calypso or Soka. When someone makes a pass, don't jump the gun, you're too easy. A reservoir. Nappy was a reservoir of music material and determination to get what he wanted to get. A visionary, um, one of the most dedicated, talented, prolific persons to have come out of, of Trinidad and Tobago. Sensitive, caring, family man, but you know, like to have a good time as well as anyone else, and a, a fabulous musician. She's as black as a berry. Nappy was a uh, driven, creative, complicated man who understood what was necessary to make his music successful but always existed on a kind of knife edge between what he could afford to do, what the market would bear, and what he really needed to do as a creative person. I'm vibrant kind of man, like, like um, in terms of his vibes and energy. His smile was really powerful and, and you could see it. A unique person, unique. He's a unique person. Yeah, you know, you don't get more, you don't get better than that. You know, that's it. Is. I love you, Nappy man. We miss you, and you know, thanks for the music. Thanks for the music.